All right, there's some more moves that have been made today. We have a defensive tackle going away from the Chiefs, signing with the Saints. Then the Chiefs tendered a backup QB and wide receiver one of last year is moving on to the Patriots. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? Look, man, I just got off a three hour live stream. I'm trying to enjoy my lunch, checking Twitter religiously like everybody else is during the free agency frenzy. And I see something about Juju Smith-Schuster, and I'm like, sweet, the Chiefs are bringing him back. I saw something along the lines of three years, $33 million. I'm like, nice, $11 million a year. That's Jacoby Myers' money. Worth it. But then I saw that it was not for the Chiefs. So let's talk about that. But first, let's give a couple other updates. I was definitely sad to see defensive tackle Colin Saunders. He's moving on from the Chiefs. He signed a three-year deal worth up to $14.5 million with the New Orleans Saints. So he's going to join Dan Sorensen, if that man is still there, and Tyron Matthew. Safety duos of the century. Some Chiefs fans were a bit frustrated at the end of their tenure here in Kansas City. But hey, Colin Saunders is going to be joining them. So he moves on. I mean, I'm very happy that he got his bag. That's, that's a lot of money for Colin Saunders. I was hoping the Chiefs would be able to bring him back. Um, obviously, they couldn't make it work out. I don't know if they were quite willing to pay that much money for Colin Saunders. Um, not saying he's not worth that much money because I am all for these guys going out and getting their bags, especially, you know, somebody like Colin Saunders, who's been dealing with injuries, showed very... Uh, Flashy promises this past season. Happy for the guy. Next, Shane Bouchelle, per Matt Derrick and others on Twitter, he said the Chiefs have tendered an offer for QB Shane Bouchelle per source. Bouchelle is an exclusive rights free agent, but he will return as expected to Kansas City and right now is the number two on the depth chart behind Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs made a similar move for tight end Jody Fortson last night. We talked about that in that video. And yeah, right now, unless the Chiefs sign a veteran QB, which I do think they will, I don't I don't think it's going to be a splash signing a big veteran free agent, but I think the Chiefs will bring one in to compete with Bouchel at least in OTAs, mini camp, training camp, and all that good stuff. And Shane Bouchel very well could earn his spot as the dedicated official number two quarterback behind Patrick Mahomes, but that is still to be seen. And then with the Chiefs signing an offensive tackle a couple days ago and then late last night signing a defensive end, we're like, hey, Next move that the Chiefs got to make is for a wide receiver. And, you know, I thought it would more than likely be Juju Smith-Schuster. After all, he almost had a thousand yards last season with the Chiefs. Great rapport with Mahomes. He said he loves being here, playing for Andy Reid and company. Um, I will say this, though. He was on his way to Japan for an anime something or another, a conference. And he was stopped by paparazzi who were asking him, hey, do you want to run it back with the Chiefs? And Juju pretty much sidestepped the question. I almost made a YouTube short out of it, but didn't feel like it was worth enough content or valuable enough to drop as a short. But he sidestepped the question and basically said, Patty Mahomes, love the guy. And I'm over here like, that's a little weird because you would think if he was in, you know, positive negotiations with the Chiefs to return that he would have said something like, yeah, man, can't wait to run it up. Still working things out, but I'm excited. So that was one thing that I was like, okay, what's going on there? Well, today, Patriots and Juju Smith-Schuster, it was announced that he reached an agreement on a three-year $33 million deal with $22.5 million earned over the first two years of the deal per source. Matt Derrick said, and this kind of echoes the thoughts of some, not what the Chiefs wanted to see happen with Juju Smith-Schuster. Certainly a loss, but there will be plenty of veteran receivers interested in his spot from which Brett Veach can choose to pursue. Sam McDowell of the KC Star had a differing view a little bit. He said regarding Juju Smith-Schuster, the habit to not overpay for weapons is short-term frustration, but long-term benefit. The Chiefs were fine after moving on from their number one a year ago. The loss doesn't sting to the degree that one did. Gotta add to that room though. And I guess my counter to Sam McDowell of the KC Star is, is $33 million, three years? Is that overpay for Juju Smith-Schuster? Um, I don't know. You, you think the Chiefs would have offered him that money? And if not, they clearly have a different direction to go. Juju said, excited for my next chapter in New England. I will give this organization everything I have. Thank you for believing in me. So in three years, this is Juju's third organization. He cashes in. He gets a bag. You know, a little bit sad here. Uh, I was hoping for a Juju Smith-Schuster re-signing, bringing him back for something like this. But I wonder if the guarantees were a thing for the Chiefs because he's getting a three-year deal worth $33 million, but $22.5 million of that is earned over the first two years of the deal. So 
I don't know where the Chiefs were in negotiations with Juju and his representation and what the guarantees were. Maybe that was a little bit more than the Chiefs were comfortable with. You would think Juju would want to run it back if the Chiefs were offering something even remotely similar. But the fact that he opted to sign with the Patriots, man, there's something there that he liked or the Chiefs weren't that interested in bringing him back and have other thoughts and ideas in mind to which, what are they? Who are the Chiefs going to opt for? DeAndre Hopkins, they're going to try to make a trade for this man. Adam Thielen, who's visiting the Panthers today. Um, there's others on the list. I'll be curious now with Juju off the board. McCole Hardman is still an option, but not the same role in the offense as Juju offsetting Travis Kelsey, obviously. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what the Chiefs do. Be curious to know your thoughts on all of that. And then your thoughts on Colin Saunders, three years with the Saints, Shane Bouchelle getting tendered and possibly being QB2 on the depth chart for the Kansas City Chiefs next season, pending beating out a veteran QB if Andy Reid does bring one in like he has historically done over his time in Kansas City. And then without Juju Smith-Schuster, three years, 33 million, 22.5 million earned over the first two years. What are the Chiefs going to be doing? Let me know your thoughts on all these moves in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Chiefs?